Hey everybody, how are we doing today? So I just got my pay stub from YouTube for December. So that's gonna allow me to do a financial year-end review for 2017. Now, for those that aren't familiar with my channel, it's basically been around for two years, a little over two years. Um, the first year I basically just focused on just pumping out a bunch of videos, non-monetized, so I wasn't making any money. The second year, starting in December, the end of December 2016, I went ahead and turned on the ad revenue and I started generating money. So I've been tracking it month by month so people can kind of get an idea how this whole YouTube thing works. So with that last statement, I basically now have a January 2017 to December 2017. So we can take a look at how I did. So let's head on over to my board of knowledge and I'll review that info for you. Okay, let me introduce you to my board of knowledge. This is where all the thinking happens. So I basically brought up, wrote up a calendar and with each month I wrote the dollar in revenue amount that I received for that month as well as the CPM. Now CPM stands for cost per mill or cost per thousand. What that basically means is for every 1,000 views that I had on my channel, I roughly made this amount in each one of those months. Now that's both general and concrete. It's concrete in my numbers in that I basically take the net uh, income I generated and divide that by the blocks of 1,000 views that I had for that month and I would get a CPM. So that's a good number in regards for my specific channel. But if you try to compare it to anybody else, it's not. Basically, even down to the individual ad on an individual single video, the CPM will vary based on the agreement that AdSense has made with whatever advertiser. So specifically, especially when you're talking genre differences, like I'm basically in a fishing genre. Uh, if you're into the beauty or if you're into electronics or you're into cars, Okay, each one of those is a totally different genre and it basically gets different types of ads which all have different type of revenue differences. So that's why for me specifically, I use this to track my comparative month to month on my channel specifically, but it would be worthwhile if you have a fishing channel to kind of see roughly where it should, should be somewhat similar since we receive the same similar types of ads. If you want more detail about how this works, I do have a playlist on my channel entitled YouTube Fishing, as well as YouTube Paychecks. The YouTube Paychecks, I basically go and review each month on its own, and I go into a lot more detail on how these numbers are affected by something that might've happened that month. Uh, you could basically Take a look at that. Um, I will also include uh, my Patreon income, which was 2,350. Huge thanks to my Patreon contributors. Uh, basically, I started that up in September due to the Hurricane Irma threat. Well, it wasn't a threat, it was the news people threatening us that we were gonna get wiped off the face of the earth. Uh, so I figured getting wiped off the face of the earth was probably gonna cause some problems for my YouTube fishing channel in Key West. So I threw that up and had an excellent response and had a ton of great people helping me out. And that generated a lot of income that helped shore up that time frame, and it's still helping me by helping me buy new equipment and so on. And I do have some special stuff I'm gonna be coming up here real quick, so be prepared for that as well as I included Jukin Media, the 1,510. What that's for is I had a true viral video back in October, uh, my e saving an iguana five mile, four miles offshore. Uh, went really viral, I made I think top 11 on the trending on YouTube, so my first actual viral video. I have two other videos that have done quite a bit better in views, but that was the true all packed in in a couple of weeks where it was everywhere. Um, because of that, and also because I thought it would be a good tool for the YouTube channel and the informational side of it, since I don't use an outside source to manage my channel, 
nor have I ever used an outside source to manage an individual video. I signed up with Juken Media. Now they're one of the premier companies that are doing that. So you'll see um, a viral video and then you'll see for licensing information, contact, whatever company. So there's a bunch of them around and what they provide is to manage that certain video. They basically take it over and they you do a revenue split with them. So whatever percentage, 50-50, 60-40, whatever you come up with, you split all income from that. So that includes your YouTube money that you get from this AdSense money, you split that with them. But what they do is their primary two things that they do is they protect your video from copyright, so other people using your video and not paying you is one of the things. And the other part of it is they go out and try to sell that video to other people, generate income, a secondary income beyond the YouTube stuff, and then do that same revenue split with you. So in that instance, I also have 1,510 contributed to that October uh, month there. And I also didn't start with them until like five days after that video. So I made a considerable amount of money uh, in October as well, probably about 500. I forgot. If you go to October, it'll show. But anyways, that is my calendar 2017 you can take a look at and go back if you wanted to. Okay, so here we go. Key West kayak fishing year in review. So in total, I made $24,628 in revenue. That was based on a view count of 13,682,131. And if you do the calculations and you subtract out the Juke and Media and my Patreon income, that leaves you with a CPM of $1.56 per thousand videos. Now I keep going back to that because it's an important gauge if you have a YouTube channel. The reason being is if you go back three years, four years, five years back, the CPMs that they were getting paid were three to five to seven times the amount that they're paying now, okay? Uh, to put it in real life perspective, three years ago, my channel would be being paid four times as much in CPM. I would be making $100,000 in 2017. But the, the challenge is, and it's not the good side of the YouTube part of it is, if you take a look at my month to month tracking of that CPM, you're gonna see a distinct downward spiral of those CPMs. Yes, there's some peak ups, basically like the holidays, Christmas, that so forth, but in general, that trend is consistently going downwards and that's the challenging part of sticking with YouTube or joining the platform. Now, in general, yes, there's tons and tons of people coming to YouTube. Like I said, TV is basically dying. People are coming to the social media platforms to get their entertainment. So yes, YouTube is exploding in growth in regards to the view counts. The backside of it is, is they're also getting explosive response and even more so in regards to people that are adding videos to the, the platform. And that kind of dilutes things. But even more challenging beyond that is YouTube is finding that they could drop the CPM and basically pay less and less. And those people still keep coming, adding more videos regardless so they can keep dropping it and until they get a point where there's a saturation point where it's starting to affect their income and views, that's going to keep going down. Now, there's some challenges that they put out in regards to the uh, newer, smaller channels in regards to limiting them to not getting ads on their channels until they hit certain platforms. But that's just a kind of growing page. They're testing out things month to month. It just keeps fluctuating, so it's gonna be hard to tell. But I have a feeling it's just gonna get worse and worse year to year. Unfortunately, 2017 was my first year, so I don't have comparative to look at. It'd be nice to have another channel that did that. I just don't see one out there. Um, but the good thing is, is that 2018, now I have year to year numbers, so I can start doing month to month comparatives, which would be very helpful in the long run. So that's my totals. So that was my 2017 year end in review. Uh, good year. <laughs> so what's in store for 2018? 
Well, I actually had a video back I started in the end of 2016, which was my 2017 initiatives, what I was going to be focusing in on YouTube. And I pretty much failed on that. Well, I take that back. The majority of it, which was going to be more fishing, I did accomplish. I think I did well with that in 2017. And it wasn't even just go fishing more often. It was just put more of it on video since I do fish a lot just in general. So get more videos of that uh, posted on YouTube. And I think I did a good job of that. And I think that will lead the stack on my 2018 initiatives. Keep on fishing, keep on posting those videos because it's something I enjoy and nothing I'm gonna give up. So uh, I'll just keep on doing what I'm doing in that regards. Uh, in regards to the revenue side of it, there is basically some alternative uh, revenue streams that I'm gonna delve into, I think in 2018. Um, I am definitely not a gear junkie, so it would be hard for me to go into that side of it. Oh, you gotta have this, you gotta buy this, oh, this and that. Cause it's just not me. I am look at my stuff, it's old, cruddy and corroded. <laughs> I just keep patching it up and keep using it. So I, I don't think that'll be part of it. But there are other alternative uh, revenue streams that I could focus on, but still leverage it, leverage my YouTube channel. Uh, that also includes my Patreon uh, contributors and that uh, side of it. Uh, I found I really enjoyed that aspect of being able to, with YouTube and having a, a large uh, subscriber base and viewer counts, it's really hard to get kind of that interpersonal communication with it. But with Patreon, I do get it slimmed down quite a bit to a, a specific group of people, uh, very interested in the channel and supporting my channel. So that allows me to do a little bit more one-on-one -on -one interactions, which I really enjoy. So that'll be something I'll definitely keep focusing in on. Uh, the other thing that'll help it is that it'll take the kind of the pressures off. And that's what I found what it's done this last few months in regards to bending my rules and bending what I'm doing to kind of appease the YouTube side. So the cussing people, uh, might get their videos back uh, since I wouldn't have to rely on so much of all this stuff going on with the demonetization, which has been a big, a, a big problem since uh, the, the fourth quarter of 2017. Now it's, it goes beyond even just that cussing part. Um, that's also the why I kind of pretty much put a stop to the catch and cook videos. Uh, I didn't want to risk my fourth quarter, which is the the most important part of the YouTube revenue side of it is those last couple months. So I basically kind of cut those off, hoping that would kind of reduce the amount of non-monetization aspect. And uh, I'm not sure if it totally worked or not. I had a 50-50. Um, for some reason it was just, I'd get groups, I would get hammered and then it would be nothing and then I'd get hammered again. So it's just kind of on the backside, just kind of a real big complication that I just try to working out. But I'll be able to get back into that stuff. Like I said, that Patreon uh, side of it really helps support that creativity side. And that's what it's supposed to do. Um, put out more videos, put out better quality videos, improve the equipment to make videos. And that's really what it's helped me do. Um, and also I wanted to... Uh, kind of utilize that channel to kind of feature more of the local Key West businesses, uh, the fishing specific ones. I really, in 2017, I really wanted to get involved more with the different guides that I know that have been really helpful to me and my knowledge base of fishing in the Keys and kind of pay that back. It really messed up with the hurricane in September because that September, October is our primo weather months where those months can be just beautiful constantly and it allowed me to go do my fishing part but still have clean days that I could do side stuff where I would go out with a guide and kind of feature their business and that would help me for all those requests to go fishing with me which I, I, I'm not able to do to have somebody that I could kind of push on to him that I could personally say, I know this guy, I've known him for a long time and I know this is what he does and I know you'll be happy and uh, and that kind of thing, but I didn't wasn't able to do that in 2017, as well as some of the local businesses that I utilize for my fishing part of it. So I'd like to do more of those features in 2018. But anyways, uh, let's wrap up the video. Um, 
But anyways, thank everybody, okay? Uh, I really appreciate it for all the support by just watching my videos. Um, if you're one of my subscribers and you're on my videos as soon as they're posted, uh, thank you very much. Really appreciate you guys there. Throwing those comments, the likes, the subscribes, all that stuff. I don't really push that stuff, but I do appreciate by seeing it. Uh, huge, huge thanks to the uh, Patreon community, the contributors. That's been a, actually been a, a huge game, game changer for my channel. Like I said, alleviated the stress, allowed me to pick up a ton of cool new gadgets, which has really helped out the channel, which I've been doing videos about. So big thank you to you guys. And anyways, uh, yeah. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next video because it's a good one. All right. Thanks, guys.